Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Notreal Engineering. Today we are going to talk about a software free CAD and we are going to see how to create your first part in this software. As the name suggests, it's a CAD software so you can use it to model 3D parts and it is totally free. So if you are a student or have a very small startup and can't afford the high prices of other softwares like SOLIDWORKS, Creo, Katia, then FreeCAD is the best option for you. In this, you can perform parametric modeling as well. And it is an open source software, so you can tweak a source code to change it according to your needs. But that will be too complicated, we will not go into that. Today we will just see how to use it. Without changing source code also, it is very powerful software, you can do many many things in it. Another advantage is this software is multi-platform. So they have a version for Windows, for Linux and even for Mac OS. Then it can use multiple file formats. So you can make a part in this and then you can import that part into other softwares such as Abacus, Ansys or even other 3D modeling softwares too. And finally, this FreeCAD contains FEA and CFD as well. So if you want to do some preliminary simulations, you can do that too. So in today's video, we are going to model this part as shown over here. We will start from scratch and I will walk you through all the steps in detail. Now before we open the software, I just want you to take to this FreeCAD website so that you will know from where to download this software. So the website is given over here. Let me just go to that website. This is the FreeCAD website. You can find more details about this FreeCAD over here and you can see although it is free, it is a very powerful software. So you can do almost everything what you can do with other softwares and to download you have to go to this downloads tab and over here depending on which operating system you have you can download the software and the instruction to install the software you can find over here and it is pretty straightforward. So now let's start with the FreeCAD. When you open the FreeCAD for first time you will see this window. Over here you can change between different modules. So right now I'm in start module but you can change to different modules from here. And when you change to different module, the toolbars will change accordingly. So for example, now if I go to part module, then you can see toolbars changed. So depending on which module you are in, the toolbars will change. And here you can see modules such as finite element analysis as well. Now to create the part, you have to go to part design module. And after going to part design module, you have to create a new empty document. Now to briefly introduce you with user interface, so always there will be toolbars in this top area. Then this area over here is called graphics area. Whatever we model that will be visualized over here. And then over here on the left side there is model tree. Model tree means whatever commands we use that will get populated over here. So as we keep on building the model this model tree will keep on increasing. You can see properties of those features over here along with their values. And there is a task panel as well. So here FreeCAD will suggest you the next tasks such as now it is suggesting to create a body and that's what we are going to do. So first click on this create body. You can click on it either from here or also you will find that option in the toolbars. So here also you can see create a new body. So let's click on this. Now whenever we have to make a 3D body we have to start with a 2D sketch. That means first we will create a 2D sketch and then we will extrude it in third dimension to make a 3D part. So let's create a sketch first again either from here or here. This time let me click over here. Once you click on this you will see these three planes. You have to choose on which plane you want to sketch. It doesn't matter for this part you can choose any plane. So I will choose this first XY plane and then say OK. Once you say OK now we are seeing that plane from the top and now when you say OK you can see over here the module changed to sketcher and the toolbars also changed accordingly. Another thing I want to mention before we move forward is you can see what is the unit over here. So right now it is in millimeters. If you want to change the unit what you have to do is go into this free CAD then go into preferences and in this go into units. Here you can see as of now the units are standard units millimeter kg second. If you want to change this unit system you just have to click over here and choose whatever you want. I will keep it as it is because we want millimeters over here. Now first we will draw a rectangle. To draw a rectangle you have to choose this command over here. Create a rectangle in sketch. So click on that and then we just have to select two points. So first point and second point. Now you can see still rectangle command is selected. So to disable it you can press escape. Now when we drew rectangle you can see over here it says the stretch is under constraint. 
and it has four degrees of freedom. Usually, whenever we draw any sketch, we want it to be fully constrained with zero degrees of freedom. So for that, we can apply some constraint, give some dimensions and make it fully constrained. If you go down over here, you can see already there are some constraint. In total, eight constraints are already there, but still it has four degrees of freedom. And if you see what are these constraints, then this first four constraints are point constraints, which are over here. It just says these two lines connect at this point. And these two constraints are horizontal constraint. So this top line, it has this horizontal constraint. That means it will be always horizontal. The bottom line also has horizontal constraint and the two side lines, they have vertical constraint. If you move further down, you can see how many lines are created. So rectangle has four lines. So we created these four lines. Now let's see how to dimension this. Let's say we have to give dimension to this top edge. For that, we will need horizontal dimension. So choose this horizontal dimension command and then click on this top edge. And then you can enter the dimension over here. For this, I am going to enter 50 mm. You can give names also to dimension if you want. But as of now, I will not give any say OK. Now this will change to 50. And similarly, you can choose vertical dimension command and select on this edge. Again, give the dimension as 50. Say OK. Again, escape to disable it. Now you can move these dimensions lines wherever you want. Now here you can see sketch is still under constraint, but now it has only two degrees of freedom. That means now edges are fixed. But this entire square, it can move anywhere in this plane. So we don't want it to move anywhere in the plane as well. For that, we will give another two dimensions. We can give the distance of this top edge from this center point. For that, I'm going to choose these two points. So first, this point, and then second, this center point. And now I will select the vertical dimension. Now let me make it 25. Say OK. Now only one degree of freedom remaining. Now, if you try to move this square, it will not move in vertical direction. It will only move in horizontal direction. So let's give one more dimension. Again, I will select this center point and one corner point. And now we will give horizontal dimension. This will also, let's say 25. Say OK. Now the sketch is fully constrained. And when sketch is fully constrained, it will turn into green. So that's all now. Say close over here. And you can see the sketch on the left hand side here. You can see now model tree is getting populated. We created a body first in that body. We have a sketch now to extrude. There is a command called pad. So that command is shown over here. It says pad a selected sketch. So you can either choose this command or you can go to task and here you can see suggestions in that also there will be pad. Sometimes when you go to task free CAD window will get switched to this start page. But again, you just have to click over here and you will see your sketch. So let's do extrude. You can enter the length over here. I will make it 20 millimeter and say OK. Now this is a 3D part. Now before we move on, I just want to tell you how to rotate this part. So if you click the mouse middle button, then you can pan this part. And to rotate this part, you have to press down shift key and use mouse right button. Okay, so this is very important and in each software it is different. So for FreeCAD, this is how it is. Before we move forward, just a small request. If you find this video helpful, please show your support by subscribing to this channel. It takes long time to make these videos and I will really appreciate if you just subscribe to this channel. And that would give me motivation to create even more similar videos. So thank you for hitting that subscribe button and now back to the video. Okay, next let's model a circular boss on top of this. For that, select this top surface. It should turn green and then say sketch. Now we are sketching on the top surface and now we need to draw a circle. To draw a circle, you have two options. One is with center and rim point and another is three rim points. Now we will use center and rim point. So select that. First, you have to define the center. So select this point as center and then select any rim point. Now this sketch has only one degree of freedom, which is its radius. So let's give dimension to it. For that, select this circle and choose this radius command. And let's define the radius as maybe 20. Say OK. And now the sketch turned green, which means fully constrained. So see close. Now again, we will extrude this sketch in vertical direction. For that again, select pad and change this length to 20. OK, so now we have circular boss as well. Next step is making a hole. 
for that we have to again sketch something on this top surface and using that sketch we can make a hole again i will select this surface select sketch and one more time we will create a circle so center and some radius let me change this dimension again you can either select sketch and then click on this dimension button or you can select dimension button first and then select this sketch now radius i will make as 15 mm say okay and say close now to make a hole the command is shown over here and over here so let me select this let's expand this a little bit you can change many many things from here first of all the depth dimension of depth is now 25 mm so you can see this hole is not through hole it does not reach the bottom surface so we can change this by selecting through all when i select through all you can see the hole is reaching the bottom surface then we can change its diameter as well so this 60 i will change it to 30 earlier we defined radius as 15 so diameter is 30 there are some advanced options as well over here where you can select the taper hole or angled hole something like that but we'll not go into that in this first tutorial so as of now we will just say okay again let me make this shorter so now last thing is to apply some fillets to do that you can select any edge such as this one and choose this option of fillet now you can see over here this fillet option you can't find in this toolbar so that happens because sometimes it is just hidden so you can see over here there are two arrows which means toolbar is continuing further your screen if you click on this then you can find those options as well so you can see fillet is over here choose this fillet and again you can adjust the radius i will make it two millimeter another point i want to mention is use of this cube so this is to select which view you want if you want to see the top view you can just select the top surface of this cube and you can see the top view and using these arrows you can toggle between different views so you can see over here it will rotate it by 45 degrees every time anyway let's add some more fillets now in this case we want to add fillet for this outside edge and inside edge as well so instead of selecting both edges what you can do is you can also select the surface and then say fillet it will automatically apply fillet to the all edges of that surface let me keep the radius as one say okay and lastly let's apply fillet over here as well say okay and our part is ready so to save you can choose this option so let me name it as first part in freecad and then you can go to any folder you want and select save when you save this by default it will be saved in freecad part format which is this .fc standard file and after saving you will see the name also will change over here we can study about different file formats in upcoming videos so i think for this first tutorial we can stop here please let me know if you want more tutorials about this software freecad and slowly slowly we can increase the complexity if you like today's videos please go to my channel's homepage and show your support by subscribing to this channel i have many videos on different topics related to mechanical engineering you can go into this playlist tab and here you can see different playlists where i group together similar topic videos finally if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always, thank you for watching.